we may have come from different places, we may come with different issues and different faces, people that you know and do not know, but we've come for the same party. And this party is not a man that, in, that, that invites us to this party, it's Jesus. It's his party. And when it's his party, you have a personal relationship with him, so this is your party. I want us to free up. I want us to worship. I want us to. I want us to not hold back. There's a river here already. There's a river here already, and you can dive in. Please feel free. This is your father's house. You don't have to be where you want to be on that seat. You can pace around. You can pray in the spirit. You can lift your voice and lift your hands. This is your father's house.
above every government policy. Let my king be lifted up. Above every lie. Above every economic policy. Let the counsel of our king. Let the counsel of our king stand above all. Let my king. Let my king. Saw the counsel of our king above the counsel of experts. I learned on the news the other day that experts have come out to say that um, they shouldn't give this vaccine to people that are below this age because of this reason and that reason. They just found out experts, so called experts. Experts that didn't know it before. But let the counsel of our king, let the word of our king be lifted high above everything anybody says. Let my king.
upon his shoulders. It is still true. It is still true and we declare it. We, we declare the counsel of God as a people of God. His kingdom shall not pass away. Your kingdom shall not pass away. Your kingdom shall not pass away. Your kingdom shall never, never pass away. Your kingdom shall not pass away. Kingdom shall not pass away. Hey, your kingdom shall not pass away. Jesus, your kingdom shall not pass away. 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 In my life, in this place tonight. In my life, in this place tonight. So let our land be changed. Let your glory reign. Let our lives be changed. Let your glory reign. Let our lives be changed. Let your glory reign. Let my life be changed. Let your glory let our lives be changed. Let your glory. spent four or five years trying to write. Honestly, I've not finished writing it. I'm just waiting to receive the song, the whole song, the way God wants it to come on earth. But there are songs that I did not write. And this is one of them. I saw angels singing it. I woke up rushing to get a pen to write down these words. And this particular line that says, let our lives be changed. Let your glory reign as we worship you. Look, the Bible speaks of angels as excelling in glory. It is one thing that happens to us when we stand face to face with Jesus. Worship doesn't have to be an hour. Worship doesn't have to be, I mean, I'm talking about the act of worship. There's a life, right? But there is a moment of worship that can change everything. That moment, we can't that we stand face to face with him, with Jesus. In that moment, we can't even sing. You will be so dumbfounded that you can't sing. That's where we aim to get to. Paul fell on his knees. Nobody will see the beauty of Jesus and stand. Nobody. It will mesmerize anything you've ever known. Nobody will see that light. The Bible says God dwells in unapproachable light. And tonight we have come before that light. Guess what happens? The light begins to illuminate us when we stand to him. Look, if you are facing a man, nothing happens to you. So you can be here and nothing happens to you. But when you face Jesus as you sing about him, something begins to change about you. Let my life be changed. Let 
your glory reign. Let my life be changed. Let your glory reign. And let my life
do not see wind nor rain but our valleys are filled what an excellent God you are full of wonders making a way where there is no way yeah. the Bible says in Psalms there was a way no one knew there was a way there but God Almighty knew there was a way and he makes a way where there seemed to be no way how excellent are your ways God you speak to the storm the storm obeys you speak to the wind the wind obeys your ways are not our ways oh
cause to do is to make a declaration into the atmosphere. You have no right, you have no equal, and we will sing that in the atmosphere into our spirit and let the whole world, let our spirit, body, and soul, let the atmosphere know that our God has no right, and He has no. Are you ready? Sir? and declare I can't hear you say you have no you have no equal over and over and over you have no equal you have no rival you have no equal say you have
the good time. You are. You are. Can you sing it one more time? You are God alone. You are God. you to speak into the atmosphere tonight you know when people when people um, ask you to speak people really don't understand what it means to speak into the atmosphere the Bible says in Genesis chapter 28 verse 11 all the way down he said Jacob left his father's household after supplanting his brother Esau and he got to a place and he put two stones together and put his head there and in that place he had an encounter where he saw angels ascending and descending. And God made a promise to him. And when he woke up, he said, Ah, I did not know that God was in this place. And he named the place Bethel. You see, every time we come into a place of worship, the prophetic and worship always work hand in hand. And the prophetic is not until when people shake their body and give prophecies. Prophetic is just simply foretelling and foretelling. The ability to speak as inspired by God. So Jacob had an encounter and he named a place that was named Lewis before. He named it Bethel. So it means that when you come in a place of worship, you have the advantage to recreate things, even though they don't exist before. As a child of God, you have the prophetic unction because the prophecy is only speaking the word of God into existence. The Bible says he made a covenant. He said, if you will take me to where I'm going and you'll bring me back, I will come back here to give you worship. It was based on the premise of that covenant that he had with God. Now you see, when you worship God, what you do is, it, worship is a form of humility. What it does that it lets God understand that you don't have the ability to accomplish anything on your own. And so when you worship God, what happens is that you now make God in a place where he has no option but to fulfill his obligation towards you. Because every time you worship him and you give him glory, he allows God to perform what he needs to do in your life without your efforts. Jacob went with one staff, but he came back with two wives, children, servants, and cattle. And the Bible says that when he got to that particular place, after he had tried to meet his brother Esau, what happened? He said, at night time, he had an encounter with an angel and he kept wrestling with him. After giving thanks, he wrestled with the angel until when it got to almost dawn. And the angel said, allow me to go. That's Genesis chapter 32, if I'm very correct. He said, allow me to go. And Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. And he wrestled and wrestled with him. And then when it was almost time, the Bible says that the angel hit him by the hip bone. And his hip bone dislocated. And then he now asked him. He said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob. He said, okay, so I will no longer call you Jacob. I will call you Israel. You know why? Because Jacob could not access or become the fullness of the prophecy God gave to Abraham. Because Jacob meant being a supplanter, but Israel meant the father of nations. So every time you have an encounter, and in that place, the angel of God represents Jesus. Every time you have an encounter with God, God increases your, account, your capacity to be able to collect more. Because he knows that no matter what you achieve, you will still come back to give him worship. Do you understand what I'm saying this evening, people of God? So, when I ask you, open up your mouth, it's not formality. It's to speak as who you are. The Bible says what you bind here on earth is bound in heaven. What you lose here on earth is loosed in heaven. The authority that you have transcends beyond the physical. It reaches to the heavens. That was the authority that God gave the first Adam that he lost, that Jesus came to restore us back unto. So, when you sing songs, you are singing revelation because you cannot worship God above your revelation of him. So when you speak, you are not just speaking, you are decreeing words. So tonight, I want you to open up your mouth for the next 15, 10, 15 seconds and begin to speak, speak. If you cannot decree in English language, you can speak in your dialect. If it's in Yoruba, Igbo. Jacob changed to Israel. Jacob changed to Israel. Enefere mente kuzi pala nanamana. 
Repe Tubala Nende Kozo Rumini Piti Kibele Tegebe Nonto Konzita Re Eto Briando Shatakalabanda You are calling cancer cases, you are saying that they are healed. You are saying barrenness, you are saying you are becoming fruitful. This is the evidence of what you have in Jesus. This is the evidence of the cross. This is the victory of the cross. That when you open up your mouth to sing, you are singing the reality of heaven. Never before has it been laid that you will come into the presence of God and go back the same way. It's a place of exchange. You take on the strength of God and you release your weakness before him. The, the Bible says that for this case, Jesus came. He said he became poor that you might become rich. There are heavenly realities that must be transcended in our physical observation. Open up your mouth tonight. Just lift your hands to heaven tonight. Ubuntu bati binu lakare o kusenda to lidaduro wo lidaduro wo lidaduro wo lidaduro Woni ubuntu bati binu lakare o kusenda to lidaduro
Are you Lord God? your attention briefly. I have just five more minutes. Everywhere that I go, I make sure it's expedient that people understand the potency of why they worship God. You know, you can get so used to singing songs that you forget the potency that is embedded in it. And you know that God does not move in our midst because his song is trending online. He moves because of the level of knowledge that you have about it. Every performance of God is always encapsulated in an atmosphere of worship. And so when we open our mouths to sing songs, what we are doing is creating atmosphere. The Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. As I was at that back, the spirit of God began to speak to me. And what God said is what we need to do is to raise a sound. Because every sound, every song carries content, but every sound carries an intent. When you raise a sound, either a red, either the, the war being over, or maybe a mark of surrender. The Bible says that Joshua got to the wall of Jericho, and when he got to that wall, God gave him an instruction. He said, on the first day, go around it the first time. On the second day, to the seventh. He said, on the seventh day, go around it seven times, and then raise a sound. Now, Moses was a visionary, the one who took the blueprints of what God wanted to do, but Joshua was an executioner, because he was the one that went to war. So I asked myself, why would God tell Joshua not to use spears, bows, and arrows to fight against Jericho? What God said to Joshua, he said, go there and go around it on the seventh day, go around it seven times, and then release a the sound. What it meant was this, that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God in pulling down our strongholds. There are some battles your connection cannot solve. There are some battles who you know cannot help you. But you see, there are weapons that God gives to you in the place of worship. You can take deposits or blueprints of what God wants to do in your life. You can receive healing in the place of worship. Cases that doctors have said cannot be solved. In the place of worship, you can get an exchange where you take on the healing of Christ and you release that which is things that the doctors have said. Do you understand? Joshua lifted up his voice and they raised a sound. A sound. And the Bible says that the wall of Jericho fell from the top to bottom. What I want to do tonight is to raise a sound over your life. And then I'll hand over to my brother, Nosa. Is that okay for me to do tonight? Can you lift your hands to heaven, George? G. I'm going to release a shofar sound over your life. Zuvala di mene, fele kusida la hato uti. Erifili di pananda kusita ya. Mere hato kusida klende menende diya. Ina ramato kusita wadamde. Ina wadakani ya.
Teka de Lenona Asiba Nantolika Nandorieko Tosadena I believe we are in the times when the foolish virgins are scrambling to get their oil back into their lamps. In a time when the foolish virgins have been shown their foolishness and they are scrambling to get oil to light up their lamps. The time we are in is not a time to offer a, a, a strange fire to God. We must offer a sacrifice.
Alleluia. Anasi, Alleluia. about victory maybe you have it you had a child after it's not those ones are small those ones are tiny things those ones eh, they are the byproduct of this main one we are talking about with this main one everything that you cry to god for is fixed with this main one that he wrote this one is eternal and we live in a temporal world your problem is temporal What you are struggling with is temporal. And it must bow to this, this victory that we are sharing him on about.
so he's giving me an illustration right now I don't know who it is for but he's saying I am orchestrating things in such a way that when it happens it will be like what the Egyptians said the first thing first sign Moses showed they showed their own but then God still showed them a little just small snake swallowed snake the first plague they did their own but they could not reverse it the God edge the second one they did their own they couldn't reverse it the third plague they told Pharaoh they said this is the finger of God thank you Lord this is the finger of God so God is orchestrating things so that when that thing you've been praying for happens you will know the people around you will know that this is the finger of God and when it happens don't dwell there don't relax don't relax to know the God that showed you that finger when you see the finger look for the rest of the body when you see the finger look for his face because that is the final destination when you see his finger trace press in till you find his face what no man can do He is saying that thing that you did repeatedly that got you no results. I am visiting you so you throw your net once again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please celebrate God if it is a confirmation to you. Just celebrate Him. I'm not, I don't do this. I, I don't. So please just celebrate Him. He said, Cast your net again.
worship can never be interrupted. It won't, except by us, by you as a person. There's a confirmation to what he was saying earlier. As I, as I was driving down here, I got a call from um, Minister Olumide Inyo. And he was, I mean, he had been trying to reach me. And he, we spoke for over 30 minutes. And he was excited sharing the same revelation that you just shared now. That's why I got up. I'm like, okay, this is confirmation that God is here. God is speaking to us. And there's something he wants us to hear. You know, is there something he wants you to understand, to know. And I just couldn't take it anymore. The things that he's sharing. Look, the gospel is so simple, yet it's so powerful. The gospel is like water. We have added sugar and salt and maggi and coloring to it. It's, it's so simple. And so one of the things that the Lord is establishing again in our hearts is that our biggest testimony ever is Jesus. If I, I don't know how else to say it. Your biggest testimony is not that contract that changed your life. It's not that dream that you acquired. Your biggest, if, if this is not it, then you have missed it. That our biggest testimony remains Jesus. And Paul says that we do not preach anything. We do not preach ourselves or man. We preach Jesus crucified. He is the power of God unto salvation to those who believe. So we are returning back as a church to the place where what we are celebrating are the things that he has done. What no man has done, he has done for me. And I can be mad about it. I can dance about it. I want to hand over to our host for tonight. But please, sir, let me just say this. Please, please stand up in you. I feel that, I feel that there's an overflow. I don't know how many minutes. So when, when I mean, we'll just continue. Thank God Myra is still here. So I think we'll just all come up. Yesterday, he dropped this song in my heart. I've never sang, I've never done. I know the song, but I've never really sang it. And I believe it's a message for someone. I have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you I give. It's recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and leave. Sing that again. I have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. This message unto you I give. Tis recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It is only that we look and leave. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus, nothing else. And leave, it's recovered in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and leave. The third verse says, Life is offered unto you. Hallelujah. Eternal life thy soul shall have. That's our testimony. If you only look to him. Hallelujah. Look to Jesus who alone can save. Look and leave. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus and leave. It's recorded, it's recorded in this world. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's you look. Let us keep looking. Sister, look at me, my sister. 
this place come fill my heart with your glory Jesus you take the highest place come fill my heart with your joy the Lord will be the Lord is not done with her yet and I will just invite you to please welcome to the microphone Prophet Richmond Ocheri from Tanzania he is going to be giving us specific words from the Lord as delivered unto him thereafter Pastor Said will come up and uh, I hope Emeka is still on hand let's do, let's do that song of thanksgiving in closing thank you can you please stand to your feet wherever you are? We thank God what God is doing over here. Uh, it, it was an impromptu invitation. I visited my friend and I said that it's a worship going on. And I want you to be part of it. Can you lift up your hands please wherever you are? We should not take it for granted. God is here. God is in this house. As I was standing at the back there, the Spirit of God showed me Psalm 67, verse 5 and 6. Let the people praise Him. Let the people praise Him. So that the earth shall bring forth Prayer is not only a spiritual incense. Worship and praise is also a form of an incense. When it is being released unto God, it brings back on the earth. And the earth has no choice than to be fruitful. What is God saying tonight? Because you came into this atmosphere of worship, the arena of praise. Tonight, you shall be fruitful. Can you please lift your hands? Thank you, Jesus. He said you shall be fruitful. Dryness is over. I didn't come to prophesy, but I believe that with our little knowledge in Christianity, when the ministry is being played, the voice of God shall be released. In the atmosphere of worship, the voice of God is being released. When the worship was going on, smoke was burning in the clouds, a dark smoke in the F city. But as the worship was going on, like angels entered the capital city and I saw the dark clouds that was in the atmosphere of this capital city of this nation it was being ruled away God is saying to you Nigerians can you lift up your hands Let's pray for Nigeria. Mm. I hear the angels singing. I hear the angels singing this song. We lift you high, high, high. When the praises go up, His glory come down. We lift you high, high, higher. When the praises goes up, can we do have our hands together as Nigerians? We lift you high, higher, higher, higher. When the praises go shine, His glory singing higher, higher, higher. Oh, when the praises go, His glory.
Bible says, for where the spirit of God is, there is a liberty. Nigerians gathered here. Don't be fearful of the anarchy. Don't be fearful of the anarchy that in the realm of their spirit they have plotted. As you have come to worship unto the LLO, intervention is coming. That is how I saw in the spirit. Can you? Maybe still COVID protocols. If you can't hold the palm, can we hold this? Everybody, can you lift it up? Everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Worshippers and praises, they are raises of men. When you are a worshiper, God raises you. You can't be, you can't be a worshiper and remain a dwarf. No. A worshiper and a praiser is taller in the spirit. The angels are singing. Mm-hmm. King of Zion, Lamb of Jude. Jesus reign. Yes, reign. Jesus reign in the F city, in the villa. Can you lift your hands, whatever you are, everybody? just for five minutes because it is not prophetic by the way worship is I saw the angel of God in the spirit the angel was holding a microphone and the angel placed the microphone on your belly I asked the angels of worship here why the microphone on your belly the Lord said out of your leons will come a seed and a child and that child shall be a superstar worshiper and a singer I don't know who you are but the Lord is saying one of your seeds shall be a great worshiper and a singer to the glory of the Lord can I hear somebody say amen here now the Lord is saying he's breaking every generational every diabetes in the family generational ailment because you came to worship him, it's been broken. Somebody say, Amen, it's been broken. In the name of Jesus. I was given 10 minutes. As the worship was going on, I made a note. And I wanted to hear this. It's a general, it's a corporate prophetic. Can you please lift up your hands? He said, You came to worship me. Strange doors are open unto you tonight. Can I hear amen in the house? And I saw a land, a very big land as we were worshipping. Seeds were sown. But in the course of the worship, the seeds that you have sown, they began to grow. They began to grow. The Lord says, I should tell you tonight, because you are in this arena, whatever you have sown, growth is coming. Growth is emerging tonight. Now the Lord said I should tell the host there is a new chapter open 
a new chapter of your ministry. I've never met you before, but God says there is so much wisdom he has deposited in you that I have made you also altar of books. That you be a writer because there is so much wisdom that God has placed in you, sir. You'll be writing a lot of books. Now hear this place. As the song was going on, holy, holy, I saw the floor. The floor was open. Treasures, they were coming out. The Lord is saying tonight, those of you here, you have lost big time finances by virtue of your worship. There is coming recovery of every finances in your life. Can I hear somebody say amen here? Can you wave your hands wherever you are? Amen. As I was, as I, before I hand over the microphone, I, I, the angel of God was singing at the back over there. He said, you deserve the glory, are we? Can you lift up your hands? Mm, you deserve all the glory. Yahweh. Yahweh. You deserve all the glory. Yahweh. Everybody, can you close your eyes? You deserve. You deserve all the glory. Yahweh. The manifestation it shall be great hear the prophetic scripture for you in Romans 8 and the verse 18 19 the suffering of this present world it cannot be compared with the glory that shall be revealed for the endless expectation of you the daughter Lift your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands. Just begin open your banner and begin to thank him. I want to hand over the mic. Can you wave your hands and begin to thank him? Where's the man? The angel of God said the man playing the keyboard over there. Yes. I don't know who, who is your head. I'm coming, your head pastor. Don't see yourself only as a singer. There is a grace, there is a, a strong teaching ability. There is a pastoral upon your head pastor. I saw your pastor holding oil and was pouring on you. I was watching you over there. You are not just playing the minstrel, the calling of God. I am seeing a priestly garment in your family. And that priestly garment is falling upon you. Somebody can you wave your hands. Sir, I don't know you. Reward, I heard. Reward is coming. Reward. Sir. Hello, sir. I don't know you, but you have labored. Some people despise, but in the eyes of God, you were commanded by God. Mm, I hear the angels singing. We lift your name. High. We lift his name.
without a witness. Somebody is becoming a living witness of tonight's session. You will be a living witness of tonight's session. God is never without a witness. You will be a living witness of today's session. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the life of everyone here, God will exceed all you have ever known about him. Amen. That is the theme of tonight's own. That's why I pray for somebody, whatever you thought you knew about God, that has become an idol that could not allow a greater experience. Tonight, God will pull it down and give you new experience. So someone is going to sing a new song. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody is going to sing a new song. Somebody you will be you will be seen in a new way from today. In the precious name of Jesus. At the beginning of the worship, I believe there's someone here who was doubting. Has God done it? You are trying to look for confirmation. He said, What I have done, I have done. And what he has done will show in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Son of God, daughter of God, keep your mind at rest. What he has done, he has done. What he has done cannot be reversed. And what he has done shall manifest in the name of Jesus. Someone here came. I don't know what is the fear. What is the fear that you came with? You can't put that between you and God. That fear is dispelled. In the name of Jesus, the God of endless possibility says that fear is dispelled. In the name of Jesus. Also tonight, I believe there is already a creative miracle. In the book of Isaiah chapter 139 verse 15. Isaiah, Psalm 139 verse 15. He said, thou, you saw my substance when I was curiously walked in secret in the lowest part of the earth. This secret place is going to bring open manifestations in the mighty name of Jesus. God who forms life in the secret place that only him and only him knows what he has worked in you tonight shall show in the mighty name of Jesus. And thank God for all the words God has given us through his sons, through his servants. In the name that is above our names, none of those words shall return back void. Amen. They are the new song and testimony of somebody. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. The fragrance of our worship that rises today will bring about a rain. Amen. A rain. Amen. A rain of abundance in your own life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Let's lift our hands one more time and give him thanks and praise. Give him thanks and praise. Thank him for choosing you and I to be here. Thank him. Bless him. Appreciate him. Honor and adore him. That which eyes haven't seen before. Which God has wrath, he will bring to bear. Give him thanks and praise. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Because in our worship, we came to stand in agreement with the expressions of God. And he will express himself in greater ways. He will express himself in greater ways. Oh, glory, 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 glory.